Hello, I've got a Toppling Goliath double IPA I've never had before. Hop Smack. I've had a bunch of other Toppling Goliath beers that I thought were pretty darn good. This is the first time I'll have this Hop Smack, and this cat keeps getting in the way. And this one's 8% alcohol. I don't know what hops are in it, they don't really tell you much. I've had plenty of the ones that are actually brewed in Iowa from Toppling Goliath, but they also have cans that are brewed in. Uh, Florida that uh, usually aren't as fresh around here and aren't quite as good. Um, I love the Pseudo Sue when I had the actual bottled versions from Iowa and X Hops and stuff like that. But I've never had a, one of their double IPAs. And I actually bought this in Milwaukee because you rarely see Top and Goliath in Illinois. And it's, I think it's only the cans. And this is quite hazy. And it smells really nice actually. I can smell it already. It was bottled on June 15th so it's a little over four weeks old I feel like I'm smelling galaxy in this I can already get it but I don't remember pseudo Sue being this hazy when I first had it but liking it quite a bit and I guess X hops when I had the last time was pretty this pretty pretty uh opaque I don't like this one ooh that's a very nice aroma Wow, it smells creamy, it smells fruity, pineapple, cantaloupe, vanilla, creamsicle. And actually this reminds me a little bit of some monkish, monkish beers I've had. I went to LA a couple months ago and I had my first monkish ones and I liked those quite a bit. They were very, very mild and soft and creamy. And this smells really juicy. Yeah, because I've had a couple of the um, you know, the New England style hazy IPAs in the Midwest and haven't really been impressed by them, but at Top and Goliath they've been doing them for quite a while. And this one, yeah, the aroma is pretty huge. Uh, this is the best glass my friend had to use, but it's, I think it's helping me to smell this one a lot. And yeah, I feel like there's got to be some kind of some Southern Hemisphere hop happening in here. Because it's got that sort of, sort, sort of like sweet pepper, almost eucalyptus thing, in addition to all the tropical fruits. Mm. Fluffy, grainy, creamy body. Tangy with like lots of lime mixed in with melon. And sort of a, I don't want to say completely unripe cantle. No, no, stay out of there. This cat loves the camera. Mm, well, that's really nice. I was actually just at Half Acre, um, the tap room in Chicago, and they had some, some good beers there. I had a Brett Saison and a, uh, a Guava IPA, but this is totally different. This is something I haven't had, you know, in a week since I was in, in Boston. This, is, this accomplishes that creamy, juicy thing. I guess there's a little bit of a earthier spicier finish that I always notice in the in like Trillium Treehouse or all that but the aroma and the feel are really nice yeah this is this is a great beer I'm really really glad I got to buy this one I didn't even know about it when I bought it but I'm just doing really well it seems like it's, it's just still got it's just full of fresh fruit flavor after almost a month in the bottle and there is not much, not much like weird green vegetal notes. It's definitely got some dank resin woodiness a little bit in there that drives it out. And when the sun's starting to shine through here, you can see it glow, how it has a little bit of a glow. Mm. Yeah, the finish has, you know, a little bit more of the old fashioned bitterness. Yeah, I feel like they use some bittering hops maybe in this one. Mm -hmm. But it's not it's not too sweet, it's not over carbonated. The uh, Toppling Goliath are, are, are pretty darn good. I've, I've seen this, some people give this beer not great ratings, maybe because it wasn't fresh. Maybe they've gotten better at bringing this. I think the first time they made this was like two years ago. But it's... 
yeah, really nice and reminding me of home. Um, I'm really glad I'm not disappointed by this one. I wasn't sure what to think because I've got, you know, last year I had a, a microphone double IPA that was supposed to be the New England style and that one just wasn't fruity enough. It was super spicy. This one in the finish isn't lingering super fruity. But that microphone, I think it was Hey Ya I had last year, was pretty disappointing. Too boozy, too bitter, too spicy, not fruity enough. But the, the fruity aroma on this is fantastic. Yeah, there's, there may be even, you know, passion fruit things happening. This one's probably got a mixture of like, of citra, maybe mosaic, and some Southern Hemisphere hops. I'm not sure if it's Nelson. I wouldn't be surprised if this galaxy, it seems like a citra sort of, citra galaxy combo. Though I did some research on this and I couldn't, couldn't pin it down. And there's not, the booze is very low. It's 8%, which is, you know, standard for the New England double IPA. I'm not getting much, but there is just a little bit of a spiciness in the finish. And it, but it lacks that throat burn, which I guess it has that a, a more, you know, traditional spicy, bitter, um, hop hop finish, but it doesn't have that trillium burn of the throat um, that I noticed that's really astringent. Um, so it kinda, I guess that kind of makes up for it, but it makes it not quite, you know, your super thick, almost milky looking New England juice bomb, but this is like a great beer for sure. I almost feel like I should have bought two, but since I flew spirit this time, it's not really worth it for me to bring and bring any beer home. I'm not going to check any beer, but I think that my friends in New England would enjoy this one. Mm. Yeah, I'll give this a four and a half. 90. 90 bags of popcorn. Very nice. And very drinkable for at 8%. Mm. Yeah, if, I know it's hard to get Top and Goliath basically anywhere. But this one I think is actually worth trading as long, as long as you get it fresh. It's worth trading on, you know, a trailing or something. I don't know if it's worth trading a treehouse. Maybe it is, I guess. <clears throat> um, but yeah, because trailing is easier to come by. But this is, a, this is a pretty good beer. They don't tell you much about it. They just say pineapple and tropical fruit jump. Um, and I guess I, I agree for the most part. But yeah, so much fruit going on in this one. For sure, for sure four and a half, so goodbye.